Thanks for joining us, everyone. An employee at Seneca Foods Plant in Montgomery died while working early this morning. Now, even at this hour, dozens of workers are outside the plant demanding answers, and we're told they've been given papers laying them off if they refuse to go back to work today. Sri Martinez and photojournalist Tony Peregrine report. Workers at the Seneca Foods Plant in Montgomery have walked out after the death of one of their own. They claim they've been dealing with unsafe work conditions and that the problem existed before the fatal incident. We had, we had one of our coworkers tragically pass away here at the plant, and they want us to come in and work? No, what about my life? We're not disposable. We're humans, we have lives. Around 3.30 Thursday morning, multiple law enforcement agencies responded to the incident at Seneca Foods. Police say an employee was trapped by a fallen item in a warehouse and later died from injuries suffered in the incident. Workers were asked to return to work after the fatal incident. They tell KEYC that those who refused to work were given this paper laying them off, effective immediately. And how do you feel about the layoff? Do you think that's enough? No, no. absolutely no. not. No, this, this is just like a small victory in the big war against this company. In the letter, Seneca says to any employees that wish to leave now, they will receive their layoff effective today's date, will have their job protected for future rehire status, and will receive their end of pack bonus. People are here all day. We, we, we've been fighting pretty much all day since, since it happened for closure. Sofia Martinez, KEYC News Now. Minnesota OSHA compliance is investigating the incident at Seneca Foods. We have reached out to the company for a statement and we're still waiting for a response. The name of the worker who died is being withheld pending family notification.